The Bridge Lounge was a local hometown bar. We had a lot of fishermen. We had a lot of deckhands. They would come in here and unwind, and we were doing well. We were, we were making well over twelve to $13,000 gross a month, but then everything changed. In 2010, the entire area was hit by a devastating blow which led to the demise of the local sponge industry. We took a big hit when the BP oil spill affected a lot of the businesses and mainly ours because of the fishermen lost their jobs. And the result of all the guys moving away, finding new jobs, um, our business lost 75% of its income and clientele. It's very difficult to keep the bar afloat. In April 2015, Bill passed away and Manny was left to run the bar on his own. At the time of my father's passing, I knew I had to step up, so I decided to make my good friend, Gary, my manager. Manny trusts my judgment, trusts what I'm doing. I open, I close for them. I do whatever it takes to keep our business going on a daily basis. Hang in there, that's right. Right after this, we have dollar shots coming up. But the rest of the family did not agree with Manny's decision to bring Gary on board. I truly believe Gary takes advantage of my brother just by being here, you know, and collecting money for services. And he doesn't do anything for the bar. He sits in the corner on a stool and he waits for his pay. Well, if he, if he was doing something right, the business will be better. Now, with Manny at the helm struggling to keep his father's legacy alive, his mother Harriet is left to cover the $4,000 a month losses with her retirement fund. I wanted to keep going because that was my husband's dream. I miss him. I miss my father. And if I lose the bridge, I feel like I've, I've let him down. I'm sorry, God. So Manny has agreed to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to Bar Rescue. And your dad bought this bar? For $750,000. Uh, it's, it's a bar that he just absolutely loved. He had a lot of friends that were on the boat. So they could get a cheap beer, and everybody was happy. 